get my wife. You should be more careful. I knew you'd be back. Howdy. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fella's Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I'd guess. Howdy, miss. Uh, what are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. 
Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no. Uh, I can't do anything. But with faith, I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. And full of things that'll kill you. <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Well, take care then. Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Lord, praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. Uh, I'm in heaven. <coughs> heaven.
and I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, listen, Marston. I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain. Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that 
cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chest, swelling of the throat, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> well, can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by... Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. <laughs> <laughs>